Hey everybody and welcome back to Twin Chevy Studio and today we're looking at GoldenEye Rogue Agent on the GameCube running on Dolphin Emulator. I'm going to show you how it runs, I'm going to show you some of the problems you're going to come in contact with and how to fix them and I'm also going to show you some tips and tricks on how to get the cheats running and things like that and I'm going to show you a bit of the gameplay as well so that you can see how it runs and see if this game is something that you want to pick up. Maybe you've never played it before. Uh, if you've not played it before then it's an okay kind of game. Uh, it's kind of an interesting one because this is a multiverse James Bond game. It's a James Bond game set in the multiverse. You don't actually play as James Bond. You play as an agent called Goldeneye. Uh, and he, as you can see from the title, he's a rogue agent. So if that's something you're interested to, sit back, relax, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's just uh, dive into the video, shall we? Now before we start, this is one of many games I'm going to be trying on Dolphin Emulator this year. So if you have any games that you're interested in seeing running, want to know how to set up the controller, want to know how to do anything like that, let me know down in the comments and I'll get working on that video. I had a comment the other day for Spider-Man Web of Shadows and I'm looking into doing Spider-Man Web of Shadows in the next couple of weeks. So let me know down in the comments what games you want to see run on the Dolphin Emulator and I'll do my best to get around to it. I'll whack it on that massive list that I've got. But now we're focusing on Golden Eye Road agent and then we're going to be doing the golden eye reloaded on the nintendo wii and then we'll do a quick video on quantum of solace because that's just it's unplayable spoiler right there it is unplayable as far as golden eye rogue agent is concerned in the graphics department we currently have the same problem that we have with the agent under fire most ea games have that problem it is the vp6 codex so i'll launch it and show you what i mean now Okay, so as you can see here on the THX, the thing, we can see all these scan lines that are on the video. Um, this thing really doesn't bother me that much, but it happens a lot on a lot of James Bond games. And if you want that complete, smooth experience, you're going to want to download the developmental version of Dolphin on the website here. Like you can see here, this one was updated 21 hours ago. These get updated by the hour and the beta version, which is the most stable version so far. That one gets updated every month. I say this in a lot of videos, but I know a lot of people don't watch every video that I put out. So I'm just going to say it again. The developmental version, you're going to want to download this and then launch it instead of the instead of the beta version. All your settings and stuff will save because you have a separate folder for that. So there's no need to go back into that. And what will happen here is on the advanced menu here, if you scroll down to this bit here that says experimental, there'll be another box here to tick so i'll do that now as you can see when i loaded up the developmental version all my settings and stuff are still the same because it's all one folder so it doesn't matter what version of dolphin you open up those settings and configs will stay there which is great so we'll go to the graphics section and we'll go to advanced you can see manual textual sample in here if i turn that on i'll recompile the shaders and we'll go to full screen those scan lines are gone they've disappeared i think this is a copyrighted sound by the way so let's turn that down. Everyone knows what it sounds like. So just another example of it there. When this one comes in, NGM Interactive, the big lion. Scan lines on, scan lines off. Scan lines on, scan lines off. Scan lines on, scan lines off. Now it doesn't affect gameplay. Those scan plate lines are not there during gameplay at all. So it's completely up to you if that's what you're interested in. But I have noticed that using this manual texture sampling does give me quite a uh, performance dip. It does give you worse performance. It even says there, this comes at the cost of potentially worse performance, especially at higher internal resolutions. Additionally, anisotropic fin filtering is currently incompatible with manual texture sampling. So if you use anisotropic filtering here, you have to set it down to one times because that'll be like the smallest as possible. Uh, but if you use it bigger, it will cause problems with manual texture sampling. So it's entirely up to you whether you want to use it personally. Those scan lines do not bother me at all. So I will do that because I like to play my games at higher resolutions. Instead of playing at native, I'll play it at three times native, which is 1080p. And I like to use the anti-aliasing, which I usually set to the max first. And then as I'm playing the game, if there's any stutter, I'll bring these down to see if that affects it. And then the other thing I do is I have the specialized shaders. I tried the Uber shaders last video and it it just caused too much stutter even with my graphics card which is an rtx 3060 with six gigabytes of vram so if you've got say a 3080 or 3090 hybrid uber shaders probably won't be a problem for you i'd love to test that out if anyone in the uh anyone wants to buy me a 
3090, I'm not going to say no. I'd absolutely love to test that out. If you buy me the 39, I know you got to buy me the whole computer as well because I've got a laptop at the minute because I'm currently going to be traveling around. Anyway, back to this video. So yeah, basic general backend Direct 3D 11. Again, I use an NVIDIA graphics card. If you use an AMD graphics card, try Vulkan. If it's not working or Direct 3D 11 just isn't like working on your computer because the back ends run differently depending on your hardware and depending on the game as well. So Direct 3D 11 does work well with GoldenEye Rogue Agent. Some games it doesn't, but also sometimes your GPU, different games, different GPUs, they all act differently with different APIs. Uh, it's one of the problems with having PCs over consoles. Consoles, you just... You're just working with one set of AI or possibly two APIs. So you've either got PS5, Xbox, whatever. Whereas with uh, PCs, there's millions of different combinations and you can't really cater to every single one. So if Direct3D11 isn't working, OpenGL is always the safest bet. Aspect ratio, I'm going to force it at 16 by 9. This game does have... This game does have widescreen support that you can turn on. So if you had it on auto, you'd have to figure you'd have to figure that out. But if I force it at 16 by 9, it's gonna stay at 16 by 9 and it will like chew, mimic it as if it is a analog widescreen TV. Or you can use stretch to window if you don't want the there's gonna be some black bars down the side of the screen. They're very tiny on force 16 by 9, but if you if you're not down with that, you can click stretch to window. Uh, as far as the control was concerned, I'm using the Xbox Series S controller that I've got, or Series X or whatever, this purple Power A one that I absolutely love. And the way I set that up is I click configure here and I use my GameCube profile. If you want to know that, go to twinchevystudio.com, check out my guide on how to set it up. I've even got the analog triggers set and the motors, the rumble packs, all those guides are on my website or they're on this channel themselves. If you want to go through the hundreds of videos on twinchevystudio.com, they're all laid out in a nice little way and it's easy to find there. I'm going to be updating them over the next couple of weeks as well. Final thing I'm going to do here is because this game, the final thing I'm going to do here is because this game has two discs. It has GoldenEye Rogue Agent 1 and for some reason on GameCube it's on two discs. I don't know why it probably could have fit on one disc altogether but for some reason it does. We go to the config, click the config button and then we make sure that change discs automatically is on. That way, when it gets to the end of the disc, it's going to change it. And you're going to have to stop and start the emulation again. It's just a little thing that I like to do. It's just a little thing that I like to do to make the playing experience that much better. I did it on Twin Snakes, and it works fine. And hopefully, it's going to work when I play with this. I haven't actually got that far in the game yet, but I'm going to be playing it all on Twin Twitch. I'm going to be playing all the Bond games on Twitch.tv forward slash Twin Studio soon. So check that out if you want. And that is everything. So I'm just going to get, it seems like we've started the game up here and everything is already set and I can move it around. See, one thing you can do in Dolphin is while the game is playing, so if I click play, you can play, you can pause. This is great for when you're messing around with graphics stuff. So what I can do is I can look at this and if the game isn't running fine, it's running at about 30 frames per second there. Uh, I can knock it down to say two times, see if that helps, see if that helps it get in here, or if I change the resolution on the fly. So if you are having stutter problems, don't just exit the emulation, see if I whack it up into 4K. It's gone at 60 frames per second during the cutscenes there. So let's whack it back down to 1080p. Put it on full screen and see I've got no side side black bars. Music isn't very good. Uh, so yeah, if we go to profile options here and we go to AV options and make sure that widescreen is switched on. That way it's going to make the screen like much better for the widescreen 16 by 9 as opposed to the 4 free squashed out or stretched out. I'll turn the music down because the music's awful, man. Okay, so as far as the cheats and AR codes are concerned, the action replay codes that I usually show you, you go to tools and cheats management while the game is on. So this is something I didn't show in previous videos. You can actually mess about with the cheats while the game is playing. So we go to these AR codes here, and this has already been populated by Dolphin itself. But if you want any more, you can go to my website, twincherrystudio.com, and I have a list of all the 007 GoldenEye Rogue Agent AR codes. 
uh, the master code must be on if you're using the GameCube itself, but Dolphin does have its own built-in uh, master code, so you don't need to use it. I found that out quite recently. And this one here, where it says unlock all missions. Safety first, use this on an empty profile or it will ca crash the game. So basically, do not use this on a profile that you've already saved on. Create an empty one and then use unlock all missions. But there's some great, great fun ones here like big arms. Let's see if we can just put big arms on. Is that already there? On my dolphin emulator. Let's get the cheats manager back up. Go to AR codes. Why is that not populated? It's because I've already got it up somewhere. Oh, it's a different version of Dolphin, that. Okay, so let's go back to the... We've got big arms here, used on an empty profile, it says. So let's open up an empty profile. Change profile. Let's get a new profile. Let's see, I mean, let's put that. Click OK. Okay, continue saving that. So now I've got the empty profile, we can unlock our missions. And then we can we'll put on big arms for a laugh. Enemies are idiots. Enemies cannot throw grenades. We'll whack all that on. Uh, never lose health, never lose armor, never lose eye power, infinite ammo. Okay, just just so we can run through this really quick. Cut that burp out. There's also a split screen option, so we'll change the mission, we won't do the Fort Knox one. Hong Kong, I love Hong Kong, so we'll do a Hong Kong mission. What, does this have driving bits in this game? We'll find out, we will find out. Okay, so that's everything to set it up, let's play the game and I'll show you how it runs. This game's actually on the Medal of Honor engine, it's made by... Danger Close Games, which made nearly all the Medal of Honor games. I think they made like everything up until the VR one that's just come out. And then they got shut down and most of them went to DICE. So that you can see there, the scan lines on the FMVs. In this James Bond game, we're actually playing a bad guy. <laughs> Look at the size of them arms. So that's one of the action, action replay codes and cheats and stuff used to be fun we used to have big head mode and things like that i don't think those guys look like that normally i just threw a grenade i don't know why they've got massive arms look at the size of them arms so disturbing everyone's really muscular oh what is that so this is the last game made by uh how do I pick that up? Dual wielding. You can tell Halo 2 came out. This is the last game by Electronic Arts. Actually, it's not from Russia with Love Was. Uh, but it was made by what would turn into DICE eventually. But they made all the Medal of Honor games. Except perhaps the VR one that's just come out. They also made Small Soldiers on PS1. Another great game. Now I've got unlimited ammo and unlimited, uh, let's see what other eye stuff we have. Oh, we can make people's weapons malfunction. Look at the size of them arms. They're ridiculous, them. That's the beauty of the action replay codes. I wonder if, if I take it off, will it, uh the game right now because you got to be careful with these codes like I said last time uh, let's go to tools cheats manager big arms turn that off and see if that affects the game mid game you gotta be careful with these action replay codes they can corrupt the game as I shown in my from Russia with love video they can do it 
This game itself didn't get good reviews. 60. It's running at 30 frames per second. 60 out of 100 on Metacritic, which isn't very good for one of these James Bond games. I don't know what Maxim Magazine gave it at the time. The big arms cheat doesn't seem to have uh, gone off yet. Might be when I reload the mission. Oh, an AR. I'll have an AR. It's amazing the gunplay doesn't feel all that great. But it is a massive improvement on previous games. I don't know, I think Nightfire was good. When we were playing Nightfire, that felt like it was uh, stepping towards modern gunplay. It's Doctor No! So this was 2004 it came out, so I think this was the same time Metal Gear Solid 3 came out. Oh. So Metal Gear Solid 3 came out, Halo 2, Half-Life 2, which is insane to think that 2004... It's what, 2022 now? And we've still not got another Half-Life game. Not a proper sequel anyway. I'm loving the arms by the way, big arms. I think this is also the year World of Warcraft came out. It's not the year I started playing though. I didn't start playing until the end of Wrath of the Leech King, so... Still playing on my uh, GameCube and PS2 at that point. And my ori original Xbox. Hopefully there's going to be a good emulator for the original Xbox when I check it out. I haven't tried to emulate it for a very long time, but it wasn't very good last time I checked. Hoping for massive improvements. Because someone found a, a source code for a GoldenEye remake on the Xbox. Or someone made it. I'm going to be looking into that. I'm going to be checking out the GoldenEye remake soon. 2007 version on the Nintendo Wii where they replaced Pierce Brosnan, Brosnan with Daniel Craig. He did. It's quite, quite a fun corridor shooter. I don't know how I'd feel playing it like with its original difficulty and the because the guards are all idiots at the minute because of the AR code that I put on, so I've not got a proper representation of the AR. Is that texture glitch from his arm? <laughs> That's his arms. Great. I love that. I love that. They're like stretch Armstrongs at the minute. It's fantastic. I think that this allows me to see through walls. Uh, how do I? I've, I've, I don't know what the crouch button is. Crouch button's B. No jump button. I see. No jumping. I noticed that with. Uh, is it Golden Eye that had no jump? I don't like no jumps. I like a bit of platforming every now and again. 2004 was also the release of Driver Free. Which I'm gonna try and emulate at some po some 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 point on PS2. It didn't come out for GameCube, unfortunately. But I'm gonna be looking at a PS2 emulator in the near future. Goldeneye, I'll mark your extraction point with a flare. It's mad that this is a James Bond game. It doesn't actually feature James Bond. <laughs> Oh, does it? I love that. Just the glitches from the AR codes. It's mad that people used to just uh, use like the action replay. It's just glitch the game out as well. Like, it's not... These are not cheat codes made by the developers. This is like unassigned code that we're using here. Probably why it's going all messed up. P 
appears to just be a run and gun type of game. I'll have a look after this mission to see if there's any driving levels. I think, are they on my side? Or are they shooting each other? I wonder if I could just run through all this. Yep. And just run to the end. No jump button. Have I got to kill everyone? Are they police? I'm sure I'll get into this story on my playthrough at Switch TV. Twitch.tv forward slash Twin Cherry Studio. Oh, have I got to hack this? Okay. I mean, this is the way to go, isn't it? It's an absolute mess at the minute because of those AR codes. I love it. There's some fun cheats back in the day as well, like Big Head Mode was always a fun one. Especially on like FIFA and things like that. Right, I've played the area. Where do I go? Those doors not open? Turned all the bad guys into complete idiots. Nope, nothing here. Nothing to see here. Where, where are we? Where are we supposed to be going? It's mad that there's still no sprint button. It's what 2004. No sprint still. What was the first game to have sprint in it? That's what I want to know. Is this a puzzle? It's kind of a puzzle. Have I got a... Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm missing all those shots. It's a corridor of people to shoot. Some techno music over. I'm not a fan of the music as well. It's not very James Bond, is it? This game. I can see why people didn't play it that much. Okay, it's reloaded. Let's see if the big arms have gone away as per the cheat. Nope, they're still there. Let's uh, see if we can let's quit the game because. I don't want to. I don't want anything to do with that. Let's all enter. Let's check. Check the tools. Cheats manager. Big arms is off. Okay. Full screen it again. I've got a campaign. Let's see what other missions this got. It's got to be a driving mission. Volcano layer. Is that all? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight missions. Oh, is this just what's on disc one? If please insert rogue agent disc two. Right, that's on disc two. It's always, is that all? There's only that many missions on this game. Let's have a look. See if there's any driving ones. No, there's no driving. I can see why people were disappointed with this game. 
I've still got to play it all. You know, we've got to play it all. Because I said I would. But, uh, I'm not very impressed so far. Game runs fine. Dolphin emulator. Compatibility. Four out of five stars, I'd give it. It runs better than, like, a lot of the other games as well. It runs better than Agent Under Fire. Nightfall was... Ver Nightfire. I keep calling it Nightfall. But that cheat's still not come off. I'd have to restart the game to get that cheat off. Big arms. Everyone looks like they're in a Earthworm Gym cartoon. Okay, let's see what this one does. Is this oh, this deflects bullets, I'm guessing. I'm gonna def Not that I'd know because they can't shoot for shit right now. Irons? Who's Irons? Is he an important guy? Is this a boss fight? Extra armor. See through walls. I mean, this is a boss fight. Let's punch him a bit. Take him hostage. So there you have it. If you want to play GoldenEye Rogue Agent for whatever reason. If this interests you, then you now you know how. Now you know how it runs, how to use the cheat code so you can get through most of it. Let me know, like I said, down in the comments, any games that you want to see running on Dolphin Emulator or how to run it. Check out the website, twincherrystudio.com. Follow me on Instagram and all that jazz. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do. I don't know what to do. This guy, oh, throw him away. And a grenade on him. He's dead. Oh, what is that? Venom. Well, we've got to try this gun out, haven't we? Try this gun out and then we'll go. This is probably going to be the shortest of these videos. I usually spend like an hour playing these games because I really enjoy them. But uh, this time, I'm not going to. I'm not having a lot of fun with this game. I'm actually disappointed because I thought it was going to be a sequel to GoldenEye, but it's obviously not. The Mamba 12G and the Venom. Am I going the right way? I'm trying to follow the little arrow on the screen which tells you where to go. Also, if you made it this far into the video, thank you very much. The audience retention does mean a lot. I've been checking up on it, and most people, like, three or five minutes. They... Oh. Got that big shotgun out. Right, okay, we've tested out this gun. We've had our fun. Remember to turn all these cheats off when I play it on the stream. Don't do anything I want to do, guys. Have a fantastic day. Stay safe and have fun. Where is the off button? Is my mouse working? <laughs>